Boop, boop. Hi, I'm John Pulo, Managing Editor of Cigar Advisor. And Robert from Passaic wrote in with a quick question about how much nicotine is in a premium cigar. Well, that depends on a couple of factors, including how big the cigar is, what kind of tobaccos are inside, and how those tobaccos have been cured and fermented. There's also a big difference in how premium cigars are smoked that matters a lot when talking about how much of that nicotine actually reaches your system. So if it isn't already obvious, yes, there is nicotine in premium cigars. And when we talk about the strength of a cigar, that's usually in relation to the amount of nicotine. So mild cigars will have very little. Medium cigars will have more nicotine. And strong cigars that are blended with a lot of Lajero will have the most. But compared to cigarettes, it's almost impossible to do an apples to apples comparison on nicotine content because there are so many differences between them. Let's start with cigar tobacco very different than the stuff used in cigarette tobacco. And I emphasize stuff. Premium long filler cigars are 100% tobacco, no additives, air cured, fermented, and aged naturally. That process reduces the total nicotine content in the cigar, and it's used to great effect by cigar makers who ferment and age their leaf for months or even years. Cigarettes are not. They contain stuff, as well as unfermented tobacco, which is much higher in ammonia, cured through a couple of different methods, and not all of them are natural. Unlike cigarettes, cigars are not meant to be inhaled, which means you're ingesting less of the cigar's total nicotine content. That's because the body takes nicotine in more quickly through your lungs than it does through your mouth. There's no standing scientific measurement on how much of a premium cigar's nicotine is actually absorbed by your body, but an estimate from the 1990s showed an average of about 10% is actually what's taken in, and that's attributed to the fact that a cigar is meant to be puffed and not inhaled. So, depending on the cigarette, there's usually around one milligram of nicotine. In a premium cigar, there can be more, but like I said, it varies depending on the cigar's strength. For instance, a full-bodied, big-ring cigar might have as much nicotine as 10 or 15 cigarettes. A mild cigar, or a cigar with very well-fermented tobaccos, may have the same amount as just this one cigarette. And because you puff slowly on a cigar for an hour or more, as opposed to inhaling the cigarette in under five minutes, the nicotine absorption rate and overall amount might end up being less than this cigarette's one milligram. So, bottom line is, if you enjoy cigars, but maybe you're concerned about the amount of nicotine being absorbed into your system, Remember, puff, don't inhale. And like many things, what's important is that when you choose to enjoy a cigar, and it is a choice, smoking in moderation is key.